hydraulic press. And now he's gonna try it again with Cheetos. Ooh, the silver comes all liquidy in his hand. Wait a second, that looks like a Lego piece. What are you doing with that Superman? I know you're not about to put him in the waffle maker. And <gasps> Family, I just graduated from scientist school and apparently that means I'm really smart. See, one plus one equals 11. And tomato plus tomato equals ketchup. Duh. Can't teach you that in regular school now, can they? But according to my very smart and very sciencey calculations, there is somebody going around with a hydraulic press and they're smushing things. Toys, food, people! Oh no, that's not good. And the only way for you to be safe from getting smushed like a pancake in a hydraulic press is if you smash like on today's video right now and comment down your favorite subject at school. Because today, family, we're looking at the craziest science experiments that you have ever seen. Oh, no, no, no. They're not gonna smush that unicorn, are they? Just too cute. <gasps> no. What's gonna happen? Is she gonna be okay? Ah! The face. She went from pony to pancake real quick. Olaf, what are you doing inside, bro? Don't you think it's a little hot? Oh no. He's melting! Well, uh. Actually, he cracked. So he's not even actually made of snow? Imposter. You deserve to get smushed then. Oh, a watermelon! But wait a sec. Why they gotta be wasting a good watermelon, though? Oh, it's about to go splash everywhere! Wait, why is it smushing like that? Holy gee! Oh! Oh! That ain't no watermelon! We just got bamboozled! That was a bouncy ball! A fake melon. Oh, so now you expect me to believe that you're actually gonna put a watermelon on there, right? Yeah, nice try. We ain't gonna fall for that again. Okay, ha ha, it's going smush. And in a couple seconds, it's gonna pop because it's just a bouncy ball. <gasps> the juices! Ooh! Okay, that is a real watermelon. And it made a giant mess. Yeah, I ain't cleaning that up. Fruit salad, anyone? Wait a second. Are they about to put toothpaste inside of that shredder? They're about to put 20 toothpaste inside of that shredder. Ooh! Whoa! That jumped out fast just like silly string. Except a lot more minty. But you can't get mad at the shredder for breaking those bottles. You gotta clean his teeth too somehow. Family, comment down below clean teeth as the secret word of today's video. And maybe you can get away with not brushing your teeth today. Oh, um, I didn't say that. But I'll like your comment. Uh, sir, what are you doing with that Superman? I know you're not about to put him in the waffle maker and, uh, make a waffle. I don't care how stretchy he is. He is not edible. <gasps> oh, no. They're doing it. Ah. Okay, at least they're letting his head Stay out of it. Ah! Oh, that's gotta hurt. Whoa! He's goopy now. And it looks like he has waffle marks on his body. Is it just me or does Superman look like he's in one of those tanning bed machines? Maybe he's not getting turned into a pancake. Maybe he's just trying to get a little golden brown for his trip down to Mexico. We can't judge him. Ah! Okay, yeah. Ooh, yeah. On second thought, never mind. But he's looking stickier than Spider-Man's web. But to be honest, I think he would have been better off getting stuck in that. Because at least spider webs don't burn your legs off. You know what I mean, family? Yeah, he's toasted. A bed of nails? That can't be too comfortable. Why is there so many nails? And why are they slowly going together? Hey, Scooby! Another stretchy toy, I see! Holy jeez, buddy! Don't stretch your arms out that much! You might lose them! Whoa! Start doing it to Scooby! No, Scooby! I can't watch! Why, Scooby, why? You 
are such a nice dog. Such a nice friend. Who's going to eat all the Scooby snacks now? Well, actually, maybe that can be me. I'm always hungry. And apparently Scooby's always headless. Yeah, they yanked him hard. Another one of these stretchy toys? Man, they must really hate these things. And they're putting them in a hole in the ground? Is that his coffin? Mentos? Bury me in a bed of Mentos, I guess. But he must have had real bad breath. <coughs> See, mine's delightful. And Coca-Cola? Huh? What are they making, family? Some kind of weird concoction that... <gasps> It's growing! Why is it getting big? It's looking like a giant blueberry! A giant grape! A giant purple eggplant? It's blueberry whipped cream! Mmm, I want it. Wow! Why is he ruining it with all the sand? And now digging up Brian bad breath from his grave? That ain't nice. But don't worry, family. They're having a celebration party for him being... Uh, not alive, but not underground? Woo, party! Uh, is that cheese? Ew! Why are they putting cheese inside of a hydraulic press? This is stupid! Ooh, you Whoa! So stringy! <laughs> they just made their own string cheese! It's a DIY cheese string! Mmm, tasty. And also pretty cost-effective. Them cheese strings are expensive! If you know, you know. Coca-Cola! I actually don't drink any pop family. I don't know why. I just don't like it. So I'm okay with this one getting smushed. <gasps> what the? That's not Coca-Cola in there. That's Orbeez. But why were the Orbeez inside of the Coca-Cola can? Who put them there? I need answers. I guess these are all the Orbeez that they found inside of those Coke cans. Well, they look all satisfying to touch in your hands. What are they putting it in? What the? They're grating the Orbeez. You're not supposed to put Orbeez in that. That's the machine my dad uses when we have hamburgers for dinner. The meat goes inside the machine and then it comes out all squiggly and soft. And then my mom takes the meat and smushes them into patties. You can't make hamburgers with that. Heck, that ain't even good enough to make slime. Waste of time. And precious Orbeez. Because I would have played with those. What in the chicken nugget is that? He looks shiny and kind of like silver. Whoa! The silver comes out of the tube and then it comes out all liquidy in his hand. But now the liquid turned into... A squishy solid? Whoa, whoa, he's filling up a mold with it? Wait a second, that looks like a Lego piece. Oh my gosh. He just made his very own Lego. And you can shine a cool light on it too. Oh no, the Lego piece is melting. Wait a second, it's melting from the light. The light he's shining on it is so powerful that the Lego piece is melting. That's pretty cool. But also kind of scary how powerful that light is. Bro, you better not shine it my way. Because I like to keep my eyes working, thank you. I don't want to go blind. This guy made a candy donut out of a hydraulic press. So cool. And now he's going to try it again with Cheetos? A Cheeto flavored donut? Can't say I've ever had one, but can't say I wouldn't try it either. Those things are puffs of heaven. And leave a trail of one too. He's putting the Cheetos inside the press. Oh man, I just want to eat those so bad. Oh, they're pressing. And pressing. Dang, man. They need a lot of Cheetos to fill that thing. And the final reveal? Is it gonna work? Is it gonna be a giant donut of heaven? <gasps> Whoa! That looks like a donut. But is it gonna stay together like a donut or is it gonna fall apart? The moment of truth. Oh, oh no! The Cheeto donut fell apart. And so did my dream. This is a super hot knife that's about to slice a Lego piece made out of jello. Don't try this at home, family. Did you hear that? Whoa. Four perfect squares. And why does that look so delicious? 
Life ain't fair. Why they gotta smush a Barbie head? No, Barbie. Oh, that's sad. But to be honest, I'm happy it's her instead of our girl Mirabelle from Encanto. Imagine it was her head getting smushed instead. Ah, I don't even want to think about it. But it would look a little bit like that. Ooh. Whoa, that looks hot. Barbies are back. And now they're burying those two. Man. Whoa, that looks so hot like lava. Maybe it is lava. And it's going in the hole of Orbeez? <gasps> Do not try this at home. That looks spicy. I guess the lava got hot? And now it's a giant cocoon of Orbeez. That kind of looks like a honeycomb. <laughs> Look at all the Orbeez coming out. I mean, kind of a pointless experiment, but okay. Pop it! Oh, I'm so excited to see these things pop. All those little bubbles there are just gonna burst when the hydraulic press smushes it. Oh, this one's gonna be good. Oh, here it comes. I can't watch. Uh, wait a sec. Where's the pop? Huh? Why do the puppets look perfectly fine? They didn't get damaged at all. We've been swindled. Again. Dang. Them puppets indestructible. And I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Wouldn't want to go up in a fight against them. If you liked today's video, smash like and smash subscribe. Don't forget to turn on all post notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram right down here. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.